Hi everybody, Rabbi Rosen here with some thoughts about the Torah portion of the week, Va'et Hanan, the first Shabbat that comes after the sad fast day of Tisha B'Av. It doesn't get much richer than this. Here is a portion that contains the second time we find the Ten Commandments in the Torah, those incredibly powerful statements that help to define us as people and as Jews and as people concerned about living the best possible religious and ethical life. It also contains the Shema Yisrael. This is the first time we see that in our tradition. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one, and you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and your soul and your might. And as important and powerful as these passages are, I really find myself drawn to another verse, a verse that is also familiar to us, but from a different location, namely the Alenu prayer that ends all of our services. It says in its original place, this is the fourth chapter, and you shall know this day and keep in mind that the Lord alone is God in heaven above and on earth below there is no other. It's a very powerful idea, and it can get kind of lost because it's in that part of the Elenu that we often sing in a kind of sprite and almost light kind of way. But it says something very profound. What does it mean to suggest, know therefore this day, and keep in mind, literally, let it return to your heart? Wouldn't it be sufficient to say, just know, know very well, that God is the only deity, the only being that we worship above and on earth? Why suggest that we have to both know and allow this truth to penetrate our hearts? I think this is very compelling, especially with Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur not so terribly far away, with the requirement that we examine ourselves for purposes of teshuva, of repentance, of changing period. There are so many things that we know, and we know very well, things that are good for us, things that make us better, kinder, more ethical people. But somehow, they just don't quite penetrate our hearts. I sometimes think about this when we recite this line in the Alenu, which after all comes at the end of the prayer service. I wonder, is there anything about all of the words we've said this day that I will be able to apply and make sure that I will be at least a little bit different because of all of the pledges and all of the divine awareness that has hopefully taken place? I think that tradition has a suggestion as to how to proceed, and it really boils down to practice, practice, to the extent that we can a little bit every day, be a Ten Commandment kind of person. Be a person who is open to all of the values of tradition, who looks for opportunities for the tiny ethical deed we can perform, the little act of help, the moment of blessing that we recite or open our eyes to in the world, a time of wonder, a time of experiencing, a bit of the divine presence if we are open to it. To practice in this way, we might just be able to not only think the good thoughts, but also to allow at least a little bit of an opening into our hearts to make a real difference in who we are and what we yet can be. Thanks everyone and Shabbat Shalom.